I just got these Lucchese 2000s in. My buddy Jeff um, sent me these and he said he had them in storage for a long time. And I could tell he wore these pretty hard. These must have been one of his work boots or something. So um, what I'm gonna do is clean them up, condition them. Um, I could see that they're gonna need a new heel cap on here. But I don't know if he wants to invest money. I think he wants to see what they're going to look like um, after they're cleaned up and conditioned before he sinks any money into them. Um, the sole is looking pretty good. I could see where he kind of walks on the outside here. So the, the leather right here of the sole is thinning out. But if this isn't going to be his daily boot, um, there's still quite a bit of life left in them. So, so these are roughed up pretty bad. What I'm going to do is... Uh, saddle soap them, get a lot of the surface uh, dirt off, um, and then I'm also going to scrub them down with Easy Cleaner. Now, I don't recommend using Easy Cleaner if you're not going to condition the leather after you're done, but I'm going to condition these. So, the Easy Cleaner is great on leather. It tells you right up at the front that it's it, it works on leather. But uh, if you ever use that, just make sure you run a conditioner over the top of it because there's no oils in this. So. Let's go ahead and get started. Fill up this little cap full. Take that solution. And just start working it in. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to saddle soap. And this is a really good cleaner for leather. What I wanted to do is just knock out, knock off a lot of the surface dirt that was on that with Easy Cleaner, but the rest is gonna be done with saddle soap. And I'm gonna use a softer brush from here on out.
right, now I'm gonna rinse these off in the water. And this will just take some of that dirt that I didn't get off the first time. Okay, so we got a lot of the surface dirt off of these shoes. So now what I'm gonna do is just go over uh, with this last coat of saddle soap. And I'm gonna cover the whole boot. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do. I just wiped off the saddle soap on these. Um, it's gonna leave a lot of that soap on it and that's gonna condition the boots whenever they dry. And that's the good thing about the Bickmore. Uh, saddle soap has a lot of conditioning properties in it. So it's gonna condition these boots as well. So I'm gonna let these uh, sit here and dry overnight and then I will revisit them tomorrow. I use all kinds of leather conditioners and I have some of this left over so I'm going to use this. This is by Griffin and you can find this at a lot of the stores. I'm going to leave a link below if you guys want to try it out. You really want to concentrate right here on the back part of this boot right here. Um, all boots, that's a an area that gets worn a lot. So you want to make sure that that's conditioned fairly well. If it's not conditioned, that leather will start cracking. So.
All right, I'm gonna let these sit for a couple hours and I will come back. All right, so these boots dried and I could tell a big difference. Um, they got a little bit darker as the moisture got inside that leather. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a one more coat of conditioner on these and let them dry one more time after this. All right, we did a good coat on these. Gonna let them dry one more time. All right, so these are drying. They're getting a little bit darker as they dry. And now for this last coat, what I'm gonna do is do the uh, Saphir Renovateur conditioner. So I'm gonna do that now. So let's go ahead and put these on here. All right, I'm just gonna use my dauber brush and just work it in just like I did with the other conditioner. Alright, so the camera turned off on me while I was conditioning those, but this is the finished product after they're conditioned, and now I'm taking them to Wayne's Boot and Shoe Repair. Wayne does a lot of my repairs, so here's the before. This is what the heels look like, and he's going to redo the heels. And then here's the bottom of the soles here, so we'll go ahead and get them started. And he did me a favor. I do a lot of work with him, and I told him I was actually doing these boots for a friend. And what he did is he went ahead and put half soles on here as well. Um, and you can see he does a really good job on doing that. He didn't replace the whole sole, as that takes a little bit more money. But my friend is not going to, this isn't going to be his everyday boot that he's going to wear. So um, he just did half sole. So you can see the new stitching that he put in here. And of course, we did the new heels that we really needed done. So, anyways, Wayne, uh, Wayne's shoe and boot repair does a great job. Um, 
So now what we're going to do is the leather is conditioned. We did several different applications of the conditioner. So the reason why I'm using gloves is instead of using a cloth is I could that the cream polish is not going to be absorbed in that cloth as much and plus I could really get inside get right up on that leather and I could actually feel what's going on so see here and I'm just gonna start working that in if this is gonna take some time you just have to be patient Now I'm pretty confident that I was gonna already go with this color. If you're unsure, the best way to do it is go on the inside of the boot, like right in this area, in the back area, and just do a little test spot. That's gonna be your best bet. All right, you can see that color is really sitting in here. I'm gonna let that sit there while I'm working on the other one. Okay, now that I've had this uh, cream polish sitting on that leather for a while, I'm going to go ahead and just buff it off.
Okay, now what I'm gonna do is on the heel and the toe area, I'm just gonna darken it up, darken it up just a little bit with some wax polish. And let's see what I have over here. I'm gonna use this stuff right here. I've been happy with it. I also use the Lincoln, but I am trying this out right now, and so far I've been impressed. So Go ahead and buff these up. All right, here's the finished product. As you can see here, we got a nice looking boot. Much better than what we started off with. I'm gonna do the before and after pictures in a while, and I'm gonna look these over really closely, and if there's anything I need to touch up on, I'm gonna go ahead and touch up on, but just at a glance, they turned out great. As you can see here where I put that uh, wax polish it kind of darken the toe up a little bit makes it give it that oiled look and it really does cover up a lot of the imperfections in the leather as well so especially on this type of boot it does a great job so okay so here are the before pictures 
and you can see Jeff wore these boots hard. Um, they sat in the storage for years, which will dry out leather. So we gave these a really good conditioning. Um, and here's the after pictures. And what I did is I left a lot of the links of the products that I used on these boots. So check them out below. Uh, leave comments as well. Let me know what you think. If you know of any products that you could recommend, leave them in the comments as well. Guys, thanks for watching.